Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. It's been a really busy day today, um, the whole day today. This is Saturday, by the way, you guys watching this Sunday. But it's been a pretty busy day, uh, a really good day. Uh, I haven't got to reply back to any of the comments, but I have read them, and I have I got some text messages and stuff that I haven't looked at yet. Um, I say pretty busy, especially during the holidays. Uh, and today, it's been a really good one. So we woke up this morning. Uh, we all went to go eat breakfast uh, with uh, a lot of my family on my mom's side. Uh, some people I haven't got to see in a couple of years now. And uh, it was really cool because uh, my wife, she made a new friend. Um, I made a new friend and I got to meet some family members I haven't seen in a long time. And it was really awesome. Um, really awesome because I, I miss I miss, miss these people. Like uh, I, I, I wish I would have had more of a relationship rather than a long distant relationship with them because uh, it was really cool. It's really cool. Really cool. Uh, but, but the cool thing is me and my wife decided to go see a movie today. And uh, you guys know I'm a nerd. You guys know I like nerdy things. So they had the new Godzilla movie. It's called Godzilla minus one. And oh my God. It was so good. It was all so, so good. Like, I I, did, I, I, did, I forgot to tell my wife that um, the movie is in Japanese. It's not dubbed. It's all subtitled. And I forgot to tell her about that because, you know, it's maybe that's something you should tell. But she loved it. She actually really liked the movie a lot. She didn't really care. And it was probably one of the best movies I've seen this year. I And, I mean, it being outside of a Godzilla movie... You would think you're watching this movie. It's fucking, it's fucking just giant dinosaurs blowing shit up. That's in there, but no, it's actually a pretty deep movie. Like um, a lot of symbolism, a lot of uh, stuff in there. Like because uh, it takes place like shortly after the bombings uh, uh, on Japan uh, from the Americans, and this wasn't like oh Americans bad, Japanese good type thing. No, it was like. Uh, very humble kind of stuff, um, which, you know, it's still sad. Um, but they they approached it in a really good way. And Godzilla, just like the original Godzilla movie, like uh, Godzilla was basically um, a metaphor for nuclear annihilation. And this is basically the same thing, uh, just on a more grander scale. Um it was really good, and it had some heartwarming moments. And I, I know you're probably thinking, "Was well, it's just Godzilla?" Uh, it's really good. I, I'm just gonna say, if you if you have a chance to watch it, uh, even if you're not a Godzilla fan, I highly recommend this movie. Um, it's probably the best movie I've seen all year. Um, Shin Godzilla used to be my favorite Godzilla movie until this came out, and this just blows it out of the water. Um, you know, I, I do like the uh, legendary pictures of Godzilla a whole lot. Um, and my next tattoo is a Godzilla tattoo. <laughs> if, if that kind of goes to show. Um, but, you know, such a good movie. Really good. Like, uh, the ending was really great, too. I'm not like, I'm, no spoilers or anything like that. Um, but my wife was even surprised by it. There was some moments where she was, uh, she she just kind of got caught off guard because like like I said you going in you're thinking this is gonna be a dumb action movie it's really not it's just like a basically a metaphor for what happens after the war after the bombings like and they have this new threat that's basically the same thing uh, nuclear annihilation really good really good I if if you get a chance of his playing in your area which I'm really surprised that. It's playing in the states. It, it's I'm really shocked about that. But uh, if you go go see it, go see it. When I think when we went and seen it, uh, there was only like six people in the whole theater, which is sad. Um, which Godzilla is big in the United States, but not like uh, Godzilla minus one would be a Japanese Toho thing. But if you're talking about the American Godzilla, you know, Americans will watch that. But uh, that's because it's English and the market for Japanese films uh, are is really high here, but it's really good. I, I highly recommend it. Um, the men her went out. We just had a little date today. Like we just had a little date. We just hung out today, had fun, uh, met some family and some friends. 
uh, seeing the movie, um, and just having a good time. It's it's the best thing. Like it's so good having, uh, just having her with me. Like it's just so good. And guys, um, I do thank you for the kind comments. I really do. Um, let me just go and tell you. I might not reply back to them that often. I may not. I. I, I um, you know, I do get nervous sometimes whenever I reply, like, but, um, every single comment that you guys make is fucking amazing. Like, it's amazing. Um, and I, I, I would like to one day, um, compile some of these comments and do a stream and just kind of reply back to them. Uh, I'm a small channel and I know this, but, um, if one person watches these videos, I'm still going to do it. It's still fun. Even though some days I don't have much to say. But it's still fun. Like, the channel may never grow. But it's because people like you that actually give a damn. Like, I, I'm really happy about it. Um, it does help me with my mental health issues. It really does. It gives me a place to vent a little bit. I don't really do a lot of venting. But whenever I do, you guys seem to be listening. But... Uh, I just want to say I love you guys very much and thank you for the comments and every single one of you that has made comments, you know, rather it been yesterday or in the past, uh, I fucking love you, every single one of you. And I mean that. I mean that to the bottom of my heart. It's great. Uh, I'm not perfect, but you guys make me happy. I'll see you soon.